from just buzzing by, which is this set. Isn't it so cute? I love it. Okay. So, what we do is first we stamp the image, which stays on, onto watercolor paper. We actually sell watercolor paper. I believe it's a, um, a pack of mm, 20 um, sheets, 4 by 6 But you really don't need the full sheet. As you can see, there's still the, this quarter left over. So what I'm going to do after I watercolor this image, I'm going to cut it and I'm not have another piece. And I can uh, use it for another project. So after we stamp it on, it stays on. Um, after we stamp the image, which stays on, we pick out the markers that we want to use to watercolor. So in this um, instance, I'm going to be using Barely Banana, Yo-Yo Yellow, So Saffron, and then um, to highlight, um, I'm going to use Chocolate Chip and Close to Cocoa. So the whole thing about this is when you're going to use it, um, purchase it, it has two brushes. One that is actually bigger than this one, and then this is the thin one. So what you do in order to start up the brush, you just oops, you squeeze it a little bit, and you press it on your hand so you can start getting the water flow. You want to make sure that there's not an over drippage, because if you have too much water, then it's going to um, affect the way you color. What I like to do is pick up um, the markers first and highlight and then I go with the marker and then dra um, pull out color. So to start with the highlighting I'm going to use the darkest color which is going to be yo-yo yellow. So you um, see the markers have two tips. One is if you want to like uh, to use it to write a journal or something you can use that tip. But since we're coloring we're going to use the other tip. So what I do is you just brush on and pick up some color. You see already the brush has some color in it. And you go ahead and you color. For me, I find I try to color as much as possible before picking up any more color. The reason why you use the stays on is so that way the stays on doesn't run when you use um, the water. And that way you can have that concentrated outline when you're um, coloring. This is like one of my favorite things ever. Makes me feel like I'm back in kindergarten <laughs> coloring. But as you can see, you don't really need to use that much ink when you're coloring because the water color paper just pulls a lot of color. And if you um, do this, you, as you can see, it'll give you kind of like a highlight when you're coloring. And if you have like too much ink on one spot, you just drag it again and just pull it and it'll make it lighter. So you can see my, my behalf is already colored kind of sort of, right? So what I want to do, I'm going to switch colors now. And when you do that, make sure again. You can do it on a piece of paper or whatever, but hey, my heart, my arm is here, my it's handy, and that way I can just do it. So now I'm gonna grab so uh, so saffron. Well, excuse me, really banana, and do some highlight. Again, you do the same thing. Pick up some color. You have to um, make sure that you pick up enough, just barely enough just to give that point that highlight. This one is very very light so you can't see it too much but it, it's picking up the highlights. So now I'm going to use oh, excuse me, so saffron but instead of using the watercolor pencil I'm going to do the lines with the marker itself and then pull with the watercolor pencil. Are you loving it? When I first learned this technique, I was in awe. I am not the best drawer ever, but with the markers and the watercolor pen, you can just become an artist.
So now you see, I didn't even really take my that much time in just, you know, hitting the points. So now what I do is just grab the watercolor brush and pull some color. As you can see, it gives me that highlight that I want. Now we're going to use Close to Cocoa. Um, when you're using, oh, excuse me, we're going to use chocolate chip. Um, when you use this, be careful because this is a very dark color. So, when what you want to do is just grab a little bit. So you see your point. It has like a little tip brush. So, what I do, I pull with the watercolor. It's better to add more than take away, I feel. And it gives it that natural look instead of just like really rough I like it the mm, the soft effect it gives and now we're going to use the chocolate chip to do some highlights at the bottom again remember this is a chocolate chip so this is really dark so you don't really need that much See, I just did a little drop, and now I'll use my watercolor brush and pull up. See how it does that little highlighting? And now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the close to cocoa. As you can see, I only I'm doing it barely touching it because again. I know I keep repeating myself, but once you pull that color, it's sufficient enough for you to color. Hmm. I think I'm going to add a little bit of, um, let's see. I'm going to use portering blue just to give a little bit of more highlight in the little hole. This is like almost pulling like grayish. So you give it a little shadow all effect. Pull. And to finish up, a little more highlights with close to cocoa on the line. So this is where the other point is very effective. You just use it if you want. Hmm, I think I'm gonna use the actually the brush, the tip. just highlight and there you have your little watercolor beehive later today I'm going to complete the card and I'll show you my finished product I hope you enjoyed your little tutorial and I'll see you later